Imagine that you work for a human microchip company. The president has given you the opportunity to make a televised speech to the nation. What would you say to persuade people to get a microchip? This is not from a biotechnology company. This is not from a human microchip company. But instead, this is from a public high school in Florida. And this is what's being asked of the kids. It's an assignment. The assignment's called Expedition 9, Lesson 9. Uh, we were sent this information uh, on Twitter. I just, what is, what in the world? What is this? My son sends me this picture of his assignment this morning in school. He's in public high school, 10th grade. You mean to tell me that they are teaching children not only to accept the microchip themselves, but to persuade other people to get a microchip. Are we animals? Obviously, this has a biblical narrative. But first and foremost, why are we allowing our children to be taught this nonsense? Why in the world is a school teaching children, kids, teenagers, whatever, about microchips and acting like it is totally normal. Can you imagine people walking around with a freaking microchip embedded in their hand or in their head and it's all normal? Because the, the question here comes from a lesson. And um, I could not find, I don't think I found the exact lesson. It's very similar. I'm going to show you what it is in just a second of this on this on this particular topic. Um, it, it's just, what in the world? We've got all the information about this on our website, freedomfightertimes.com. There's a link in the description box. That way you can uh, see this image. You can see the tweet. You can see another a similar lesson. And this is not an isolated incident that's happening in Florida. This is happening in other places around the country. The children are being taught about microchipping humans. They're going so far as teaching cloning. In fact, let me show you. This is Expedition 9, and I'll tell you exactly how I got here. I went to Google and I typed in Expedition 9 Lesson 9, which is the first thing on the top of that page um, that has the question on it. This is the lesson here. We can kind of go through it. Should humans have microchips? What would be the benefit of a microchip? Objective, after viewing two videos, students will be able to identify the positive and negative effects of cloning. After viewing one video about microchipping, students will be able to describe the controversy of microchipping humans. Continued. While viewing the videos today, you will be taking uh, focused notes. Our focused questions are, why is microchipping controversial? Controversial, excuse me. What are the positive and neg negative effects of cloning? Has science taken over? What in the world? Microchipping, these are the videos. Of course, we know this video. I don't know if it's going to play it or not. Uh, this video is about cloning. Then, of course, oh, excuse me, that, those two are about microchipping. This one's about cloning. It's the New York Times, uh, about Dolly the sheep. Focus notes, create questions, write a summary. And then, of course, that's the end of the lesson. I want to read this to you here. This is bell work. Should humans have a microchips? Have microchips. What would be the benefit of a microchip? Objective. After viewing two videos, students, as I read you this earlier, after viewing one video, I read you that earlier as well, while viewing the videos uh, today, you will be taking focus notes on focused questions. Our focus questions are microchipping, cloning, uh, focus notes, create questions. Write a summary. Why is microchipping controversial? What are the positive and negative, effect, uh, man, negative effects of cloning? What? And I'm bringing you back to the original page Imagine that you work for a human microchip company. The president has given you the opportunity to make a televised speech to the nation. What would you say to persuade people to get a microchip? Write in response to reading. I would, I would really like to know what they read. Um, if I recall, these are, I, I can't remember, but I believe that these are, uh, uh, they've read something about microchipping and cloning or something of that matter. 
or just microchipping for this instance, and this is one of the questions that they had to respond to the reading with as, as a 10th grader, I'm not sure. Um, I wish I could find more information and I'm going to keep looking for it and that's why I'm going to update you guys later on in our posts on our website about the school and so on and so forth where this was going on because this is insanity. This is total insanity. This, this is like the ethical questions that are being asked of scientists today of, uh, re regarding CRISPR, the technology for gene editing. But they're asking high schoolers, how would you do it as if it is okay to microchip a human? Now, let, let's get to the biblical side of things. Of course, we know that the mark of the beast is what? It's... Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 through 17. Instead of me saying it, I'd rather just read, it, read the verses for you. And he made all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of, uh, of the beast or the number of his name. Uh, now, of course, this in our world today is directly a reference to technology. Placing the technology or the WWW or the World Wide Web or the neural net into the, uh, your forehead or into your hand would be considered the mark of the beast. And very soon, because of Apple Pay and other companies alike, you will not be able to buy or sell unless you have some form of technology injected into your skin or embedded into your skin. So when the, when the topic of microchipping comes up, this would easily pass as a form of the mark of the beast, according to scripture. And they're asking 10th graders how to persuade people to get a microchip. What are the benefits? What about the, the negative side effects? Oh yeah, you lose your soul. This is insane. But... What else should we expect from the public education system, which is teaching children who are practically babies to use dildos? What, what should we expect from a public education system that is so corrupt, that is so indoctrinating? What more can we expect? Of course they're going to push the mark of the beast. Because this president has pushed more technology than any president prior. He's pushing for artificial intelligence. In fact, he was just the editor for uh, Wired magazine on artificial intelligence. And this, these are the kind of questions that are beginning to prop up in, um, in, in schools. I don't recall seeing these when I was in school. And I, I think that a lot of other people will not recall seeing these sorts of questions when they were in school either. But again, what more can we expect from a public education system that is teaching children to dissect babies? These are all prior things that have happened at other schools around the country. And that we've all documented it on our website. That's why I can reference them. If you go to freedomfightertimes.com slash news, let me, let me say that one more time, freedomfightertimes.com slash news, you can search through all of the archives that we've done on all of these sorts of posts. And others as well, of course. But this, this is insane. They're teaching children, kids, teenagers, about microchipping humans, equating humanity to a dog, equating humanity to pigs, equating humanity to animals. When you take out the sacredness of humanity, and when you take out the, the difference between animals and humans, and you say it's just something by accident, then guess what you get? Humans are animals. They'll be, begin to act like animals. And guess what else happens? Humans are also treated like animals by the ruling classes. And that is what's going on. Parents, it's time to pay real close attention to what your children and your kids are being taught. How can we expect, or how could, how could anybody expect, individuals in 10th grade, 9th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade, if they were not biblically informed of the effects of, a, of, a, of the mark of the beast or a microchip, how can we expect them to understand the consequences of human microchipping? You can't. But they're going to be the ones who have been indoctrinated by a system 
of corrupt individuals, of Satanists, who want nothing more than the total enslavement of humanity, the total destruction of the church. So I'm going to leave you with this question. Are you going to allow the devil to teach your children, to raise your children, to indoctrinate your children? Because that's what this sort of ideology is. Making humans equivalent to animals. And of course, bringing about the mark of the beast in the process. I would say that the microchip is a variation rather than it's set in stone that this is the actual uh, mark of the beast because there are very, there's a, a, an array, a massive array of different types of technologies that could fit the bill of the mark of the beast. All, of course, would be embedded within the skin. The microchip is the first method that could be used, which is why it is the most influential and key understanding point that many Christians have come to understand. So again, I, I left you with that question. I want to thank you guys for watching and listening. If you need more information on this, go to the website, freedomfightertimes.com. It's our latest post. Um, and of course, I'm going to be updating that with more information as I get it. I might not get any more. There may be more. I mean, you never know. But anyways, that's all I've got for you. God bless and carry on.